Yeah. Uh, let's move on from there. Middle Tennessee State. MTSU Blue Raiders. I don't think they go by MTSU anymore, do they? I thought they did. I still call them MTSU. But, but I'm, if, if you I went to old. MTSU or you are a, a Middle Tennessee fan. You know who we can ask? We can, we'll ask Ja in a couple of months. That's a good point. I'll, I'll call him. Yeah, Ja will know. He'll be in Memphis tomorrow. That's, I mean, he, he was a Murray guy, but he played against him, so it's, it makes sense. He's John in the Moran, same conference. Right? Yeah, he's in the same. It, yeah. Okay. He knows those guys. Maybe in ba- Are they in the same conference in basketball? Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're not. He did play against them, I believe. I, they were on the schedule, but but he didn't. I don't think they Either were. way. Um, all right, so MTSU, Middle Tennessee, whichever one it is. We don't mean to offend if it's not MTSU. Because uh, I think they're one of the teams that actually changed it up. Like They didn't want to be called that anymore. Either way, the Blue Raiders went 8-6 and six last year, 7-1 and one in Conference USA. They got five guys back on offense, six returning starters on defense. Head coach Rick Stockstill, offensive coordinator Tony Franklin. Uh, they won the East last year. They do not have all-everything quarterback Brent Stockstill back. Wide receiver Ty Lee, he's probably going to break team records for receptions, yards, and touchdown catches uh, this season. But the offense lost a ton to graduation. At defense, they they lack a big-time pass rusher. Linebackers are just kind of so-so. The two NFL safeties are joined by two really inexperienced cornerbacks. This is a major league rebuilding year. It's like, just a, I love Rick Stock still. I do, too. It's a but, really strangely built uh, team, the way they're coming into the season – with some experience, but it's the experience. But it's at weird spots. It's at weird spots. That's yeah. it. It's like, oh man. Uh, in 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 losing your son, who was just a in had an incredible season. Yeah, last it's, year it, he was. Well, he had an incredible career. That's right. right. No, like, yeah, he, he had great. some injuries here and there over the years, but man, last when he year was just in. seemed like a magical season for him. Yeah. I was super excited watching him. Loved every game. No, only one game I really rooted against him for, and that was the championship game, and that's that's yeah. understandable. That's well, I mean, you're a, you're a Bill Clark my, guy. My guy Bill. As soon as Bill leaves one day, then then I'll get back on you. But. There you go. Um, so, I mean, they start out at Michigan, Tennessee State, Duke, and at Iowa. That is a, a murderer's row for a school of this size. Oh, no. Go that's, take the that's checks. That's difficult. No, yeah, take ca- the checks, dude. money, man. That's a cha-ching. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of cha-ching there. There's but, a couple of CFU <laughs> Conference USA teams that are cashing checks this year. I... I think they drop off a lot. I think this is a rebuilding year. Uh, this is not the kind of program that can just retool. I think this is rebuild. Okay. And I think they have to start from the bottom up. Uh, I think you will see, you know, this team get better as the season goes along. But I mean, I've got them. I got them four and eight, three and five in uh, in Conference USA. And I mean, I've got them winning three of their last four games. But I think early on. I mean, look, I told you, at Michigan, Tennessee State, Duke, at Iowa, then it's Marshall, at FAU, at North Texas, FIU. Yep. And that's before you get to at Charlotte, Rice, Old Dominion, at Western Kentucky. Your easiest games are backloaded. That's right. It is brutal to start with. When you got all those non-conference games to start with. And and you've got yeah. you got a brand new guy coming in at quarterback. So, you know. I, 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 I just, maybe I'm giving too much credit to the head coach. And the system that I've seen be there for so long, but I just feel like we're, we're just gonna not plug and play guys because that's not the kind of system they run. But I just can't see them falling off that much. I like this team, but I but I like this program. So I've got them still seven and five. I got them a game off from last year. I could be way wrong, and there just be a lot of nostalgia there. I, I mean, we'll see, right? I got to see the trigger man. Flips. I got to yeah. see the trigger man. That's the most important thing between what what I think they'll finish and what you think they'll finish is who replaces the quarterback. Well, and, and the defense was a big part of what they did last year, and they Correct. they lose a lot. Right? Lose they, a lot. That's right. They, they don't have a, a big time pass rusher like like their defensive scheme needs. The linebackers, like I said, just so so. Two NFL safeties, which is good, but when you got two completely brand new, completely inexperienced cornerbacks. Like I, you know, we'll see, but I, I got them four and eight. You got them what? Seven and five. I got them seven and five. Pretty All big right. difference. 